It's day two of the 2010 Five Diamond World Poker Classic, and the field continues to grow. With a few levels left before registration closes, 422 players have signed up. Coming into the day, Ryan D'Angelo was the chip leader. At his table was fellow Big Stack Faraz Jaka, and it wasn't long before they began to butt heads. All right, I'm here with Ryan D'Angelo, former chip leader. Uh, Ryan, how's your day gone so far? Former chip leader, it's true, yeah. Um, well, I started with 190, and I tried to bluff Jaka, and it did not go too well. well actually, the first bluff worked. I show him like I show him uh, five high, and then the next hand I tried to bluff him again. Did not work, but it's all right. I still have like 130k at 48, so super deep still. Now you said you showed Faraz Jaka a bluff. Why would you anger a bull like that? Oh man, I thought if I showed the bluff, he'd give me more credit next time, but I don't know. Did not work out. Do not bluff Jaka and just play a canet and hopefully you pick something up against him. He's insane. He's already limp re raised, like raised four rivers, whatever, but it's, I'll get him by the end of the day, guaranteed. Are you guys going out of your way to play against each other? I might have been going out of my way a little too much. He just plays every pot, he doesn't care. <laughs> All right, so here's what I heard. You came into today, you realized the chip leader was at your table, oh, yeah. and you cowered in fear. Oh, uh, no, I was actually licking my chops, and I heard it was Golfa, so I play pretty crazy, Golfa plays pretty crazy, so it's just kind of like this insane, hyper-aggressive match. Um, we had this hand where I raised under the gun, he called on the button, I check called flop, check called turn, check folded river, he showed me a bluff. The very next hand, he raised again, I called the big blind with king seven off, I flop a pair of sevens, and uh, he bets all three streets. I call, I call him all the way down. He was bluffing again, so that, that's just an idea what kind of match it is and what kind of match it's going to be the rest of the day. Well, he told me that he thought by showing the bluff the first time, the five high, that he gets some credit the second time. That's what I thought he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I could say that after the fact, but I mean, obviously, I did call. It's yeah. going to be fun. <laughs> now he actually let out the phrase, "I got jockered." Uh, do you hope that catches on? I've been hearing it a lot, actually. Um, sure, it doesn't matter to me. You can call it what you want to call it. I'm going to take your chips. <laughs> Be sure to check back to Card Player TV for more updates as we continue coverage here from the 2010 Five Diamond World Poker Classic.